So you may find yourself in a scenario where you want to introduce bean validation. And that could be because the custom scalar validation and checks just aren't enough or you don't think they're appropriate. Or it could be that you started a new project and you're building an MVP out and you don't feel that you want to have lots of different microservices back in your GraphQL API. And for the start, it's easier just to have it in one node and it evolve from there over time. So they may introduce reasons why you want to use bean validation on the likes of input fields. But what I recommend is you always have your validation on the service that actually stores the data, returns the data as it's as close to source as possible. But in GraphQL, if you want to use bean validation, that is possible. So what you want to do is first of all, bring in a, a validator. So a, a JSR 303 validator. I'm just going to use Hibernate for this example. And once you bring in Hibernate, then if you go to your the likes of your input class, in this case, it's the create bank account input, you can go ahead and use some annotations. So I'm going to use the not blank annotation here. And then to simply make this validate, you go to your mutation, add validated method validation and ensure that the input field is valid. Now let's go ahead and run this. We should not see why it fails validation, but we should see that it fails validation. So go ahead and run. So I'm setting this to empty. Let's create the bank account. And here you see it returns internal server error. So it has worked, it's rejected us, but why did it reject us and not display the actual message that first name is not blank? Sorry, first name is blank. Well, that's because in our um, exception handler, we don't handle that exception, the constraint exception, Therefore, it comes into the runtime and throws the internal server error description. So what we want to do is, because we want to pass this message, constraint, first name must not be blank, directly to the client. Let's go ahead and change our known exception handler. So and we'll add in constraint. I can't spell, so let me make a copy. Constraint validation exception. We import that and we change this from exception, GraphQL exception to a simple exception. Let's stop that and restart the service. And now we should see the validation message inside the GraphQL message response. So as I played that, now you see create bank account input must not be blank. So this is how you can quickly introduce and integrate bean validation into your input types if you want. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.